Molly, see, I was raised in the uh, Amazonian uh, rainforest part of the uh, the Nukak tribe as a feral child. I was taken in by an aristocrat family um, who owned a very successful uh, sugar drinks company. Uh, I was released from that family from the tender age of uh, 25, and my life just spanned from there. My, my name's Nick Pilgrim, and, and I'm, I'm a caffeine addict. So, uh, in the beginning, I was born. It was awful. Then I grew a bit. Pretty terrible. I uh, went to school. Shocking. People everywhere. Don't like people. Now I'm in this room, and I'm talking to you about other people I don't like to somebody. Where do you see Alter Easing going? Manchester, Wolverhampton. You never know, Germany. The pub, eventually, started boiling down Relentless and Red Bull. I, I became a, a caffeine mule across the various states of, of South Africa. Um, should we get another beer? So what was that like growing up in there? Well, it was a very harsh environment. Uh, cold summers, warm winters. Uh, we spent majority of the days chasing down what we craved the most, which was raw, wriggly fish. Do you have any fish? <laughs> And, and once we caught enough fish, we would find other uses for our fish. We would use them as candles, we would use them as houses, we would use them as currency. <clears throat> Do you actually have any fish? Yeah, can I get another beer, please? Please. Well, I was playing guitar in the studio and other people turned up and started playing as well and I can't get rid of them. I don't even like these people. And that's all we can do. As long as I can get me another beer. I fell in with a vicious gang of caffeine criminals led by a nefarious man called Don Sugarow and his hyperactive group of merry sugar drinks. Don Sugaro used to take his on raids. Used to dive into bats of cheering. Well, I was playing in the industrial unit site that my, my family allowed me to play in. Um, I was playing near where the skips were, where I used to play a game of Bait the Badger. Basically, I would rhythmically tap on the bins and try and get a badger to come out, and we would go from there. Work to the sound of some melodic drumming. Badger. Badger. I discovered upon beating on this uh, giant industrial bin that there was a strange rustling sound, very unbadger like, and it turned out to be my good friend Nicholas here who was in the midst of a sugar drinks coma. He opened his mouth and the fish dropped out and he said, I always remember this bit. By Jove, you're a big one, aren't you? You don't even have any fur. Those were the first steps of how the band was formed. 